this one's called The Night the Moon Arrived. And uh, I suppose it's like myth and legend and theory and story. and It's just really interesting. <clears throat> so there's basically like back in ancient history, like ancient past, there's like myths and legends about living on Earth before the moon was in the sky and they talk about the time that the moon, like the time before the moon, then the time when the moon arrived, so like before the moon, the moon arrived, and after the moon arrived. And for me it's, it's really just quite fascinating, it's quite an interesting like story I suppose, or theory, uh, and there's like, there's quite a lot tied into it, like obviously it's just like myths and legends, but then You've got all the theories about like the hollow moon and stuff. So it's like the moon like a like a creation. Was it created? Was it brought here? There's all the talk about because it's like the the exact same or the, the exact like size needed to to block at the sun. So it's like the a specific size, a specific distance in between the earth and uh, the sun for to create a solar eclipse. Uh, there's <coughs> like the, even just like the moon, it helps with like the tides, it, like, it helps keep the earth kind of stable and it helps create like the, like the, the tides of the ocean and uh, the, the, like the four seasons on earth and stuff. So it really helps like, like humanity out kind of thing. Yeah, so it really does quite like a lot of stuff. Like if the moon wasn't there, like the atmosphere and stuff, or the the seasons and that, it would be quite unstable. Wouldn't it be great for humanity? And obviously, because it is there, it does help it a lot. And there's the, <coughs> the the stories and theories about the Earth being hollow for when they, like NASA. I think they accidentally crashed something into it and it, they said it rang like a bell so that would mean that it's got like it's either got it's either hollow or it's got lots of kind of like uh, big open spaces inside it it's not just like a solid thing and then there's even like the like the the, the side of the moon we see is is like G uh, like geologically different for the, the the back like the dark side of the moon so it's like that it's like they're completely different and there's even that that the moon it's, it's always in that kind of orbit or, orbit where we only see one side of it kind of thing uh, so there is there's lots to me there's lots about it like there's it is really quite like it's quite fascinating when you look into it like people maybe just look up and think it's just the moon but when you think of all the stories the myths the legends then like if you look into some of the science of it as well like the, the, the size of it how the, the geology is different how it could be hollow the, the orbit how it creates like a solar eclipse there's, there's just like lots to it that's just to me just really fascinating really interesting and for all we know it could be like a creation could be like a like I don't know some kind of uh, like uh, what do you call it like a satellite like a it wouldn't be like a, a man made satellite but maybe like again, aliens or like a civilization that came before us or something like that or like you, don't, you just don't know these days with all the, the stuff that goes on like with all these kind of UFOs and everything and the, all the stuff we still don't know about the universe and all this kind of stuff like so to me it's just no like it's you can't say it is or it isn't kind of thing it's no clean cut because nobody knows for sure people will say they know they'll know this they know that but you don't really know get what I mean you don't really know so it's like it's not like many of us have been there 
like or anything like that or like it's not like we've dug right inside it or stuff so it's, it's all just kind of guesswork kind of thing there's even the, the theories that people's not been to the moon and stuff it's just it seems to captivate humanity even even like in the, the 60s gone to the moon it captivated like the the full of humanity kind of thing and obviously like well that captivated the full of humanity and there's obviously people still talk about how it was all faked and we never went so it's still like it's it's just the moon captivates people you've got the how it affects your like your i don't know what you'd call it like i don't want to say your mental health but like when it's a full moon it can affect you and that's why people because it's like the lunar like the lunar moon kind of thing that's why people got called lunatics kind of because it was related to the moon so <clears throat> to me there is quite just like lots and lots and I just found that like of when I heard about that like the myths and legends about the night the moon arrived kind of thing and I, I just think that would be fascinating like if imagine being on earth and then the moon arriving one night, you would just, it would just be like, I'm like, whoa, like, like crazy kind of thing, eh, to, to experience that, like, a total, like, celestial event kind of thing that would just, you'd never forget it. So I wonder, is that why people tell stories and stuff about it? And it's just, as it's, to me, it's captivating, it's interesting. There's science, mythology, theory, belief kind of thing it's that it can it just puts everything in together uh, so I uh, just for me a really interesting story and uh, I wonder if any of you have heard about it if you've interested in it or but what's your theory on the moon kind of thing just uh, write a comment leave leave your thoughts in the comments but that's this one anyway so, I'll see you soon.